Okay, Bruce, so obviously customization and restoration is your passion, but there's one project you did that kind of set you apart. What's that? Well, it'd have to be this radical rod right here. It's a 1930 Model A. Um, when we built this car, we wanted to keep the Model A look, but make it look really radical. And that's why we call it the radical rod. Very nice. Um, we'll start with the engine. Sure. It's a 528 Keith Black Hemi. Um, it's got a 1471 blower and two 1050 Dominators sitting on top. Uh, now this scoop we fabricated and made, which you'll never see another one. That's why it's so huge. All the linkage is inside. And um, if you look at the front, you'll see that uh, there's no radiator here. Uh, I thought that with the polished motor, it'd look cool if you could see through the grill and see all the polished chrome. Um, the air for the radiator comes from the scoops sitting in the back. Uh, we hand built those scoops with the chrome bezels. Um, the car itself is about 13 inches lower and uh, about 8 inches wider. Uh, basically every panel on this car was changed. Uh, we hand formed the front fenders, the running boards, and made the rear fenders. So my favorite part of the Radical Rod is the interior. So exactly how did you come up with this? Well, I wanted to come up with uh, kind of an industrial look. And uh, if you look inside, uh, it's got chrome bomber seats. Um, that are kind of molded in with a center console that molds up to the dash. And what I did is I brought the outside paint inside exactly the same with the stripe following all the way through. And um, there's actually chrome on the door panels with the strips and stuff like that. Now this is all hand formed steel and uh, this whole back piece comes off and that's how you get to uh, the access to radiator and uh, all the other components that are behind there. And these seats actually are on two pins that all you gotta do is pull the two pins and they pull out and all electronics are underneath. Wow. That's great. That's great in that. So obviously this is not your everyday car. What are some of the reactions you get when you're rolling around in this? Oh, uh, people, people freak out. They love the way it sounds. Um, if I actually come into a show and uh, they start following me to where I go, <laughs> Uh, I'll rev it up a couple times and then shut it off. They'll start yahooing and clapping. They love it. There you go. You're a celebrity. So for your very own radical rod or any other kind of start quality customization or rasterization, visit Bruce and his team at Route 8 in Pittsburgh or at ProConcustom.com.